In this video, I'm going to be using a Murphy and McNeil soap that I cannot pronounce and the Supply SE Pro Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back and we have a good one for you today. As mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using this Murphy and McNeil soap that I absolutely cannot say. I even looked this one up and I listened to it and I still can't say it. So I'm gonna show you the name right there and uh, we look forward to using this today. But these names, these Cel Celtic names are like kryptonite to me. I can't even say Celtic today, let alone the, the name there. But anyway, this comes to you from Murphy and McNeil, 1999 for 5.5 ounces. And on our cost chart there, that is 363 an ounce, which is a good price. We give that a score of four out of five. The scent on this is fantastic. I'm gonna put the scent description on the screen for you there. It's based on green Irish tweed, and it's a very good version of it to my nose. I give that a score of five out of five. The scent strength on this is really nice. Uh, for a green Irish tweed soap, which a lot of them are kind of like, this one is well into the high end of medium. I give that a score of 4.5 out of five. This is, by the way, a tallow base soap. It's in the Aeon base, which I really appreciate. I'll put the ingredients for you right there. This is a very easy soap to work with, in my opinion. I didn't have any problem at all making a nice creamy lather. We'll show you a lather shot uh, right there. Ease of use for this, five, five out of five, no problem at all getting a great lather. And I just love Murphy and McNeil soaps generally. It's a really, really nice soap, and we look forward to using this today. The razor for today, is the Supply Single Edge Pro Razor, and this is an uh, adjustable injector razor. Of course, Supply was on Kickstarter, not Kickstarter, well, this razor actually was on Kickstarter, but Supply, their original razor was on Shark Tank, the television show, and now they've came out with this uh, adjustable version, which was on Kickstarter, and I paid $139 for this on Kickstarter. I don't know what this razor will retail for. Uh, again, it was $139 on Kickstarter, comes with a lifetime warranty. It also came with some of their black label uh, blades, which are made in Japan. And these run uh, for eight, about $8 for $16, $15, or $24, $22. So this is, by the way, an injector blade, a razor, excuse me. So you insert this little key into the mechanism of the razor and then you push a lever over and inject the blade and we have a blade injected and we have the grip sleeve on here too, which was additional. This, ha this razor has a little wheel right here and if you pull it down, it sort of adjusts. And I was finding out yesterday that as I was adjusting this, like one pull down for me was like one number. So I pull it down, two, three, four, and it's kind of nice. Uh, it does have a little rattle to it if you can hear that, but I don't think that's anything that's gonna be noticeable during the shave unless you're really going hard, which we don't intend to. So we look forward to using the SE Pro today. They released another razor as well, but uh, again, I have the Pro version here. And what happens when you adjust this wheel, this bottom bar drops a little bit, and I'm guessing that increases the blade gap. So we'll see how it feels. Let's just get into the shave, because we've been yapping enough as it is. And we're gonna start by missing the face, and remember all uh, products that are available, I will link below, and also the lather tutorials are below. I get asked a lot of times about lathering and how I make lather, those will be below for you. Man, this soap smells great. Brush for today, I often forget to mention the brush until the end, this is Razor Rock 400. Very inexpensive synthetic brush, and let's get going today with our Murphy and McNeil. Again, I'm not gonna try to say that, <laughs> that name. Remember years ago, for those of you who've been with me, with me for a long time, Katie's Bubbles will, would have the uh, French names on their soaps, and of course, you know, I don't speak French, so I would struggle with the names. Uh, Murphy and McNeil is even one up that with the Celtic sort of names, uh, which are <laughs> very difficult to pronounce, especially this one. I didn't even try on this one, because after I listened to it, I was like, there's no way. There's no way. Go to howdoyousay.com or howdoyousay.com and listen to it, and it's like, uh, no. <laughs> I'm not, you know, I could sprain my tongue trying to say that. So I think it equates to tree of life or something like that is the meaning. But uh, Murphy and McNeil, I tell you what, great soaps. 
but their names are like Katie's bu <laughs> bubbles. Very difficult to say. And uh, I think it would be easier if the names were a little easier or more memorable for people. But maybe they are memorable because they're difficult. I don't know. But it, anyway, it's a great soap and uh, it's smelling fantastic. This one for, again, for a green Irish tweed scent, and they tend to be a little um, light. This one is not light. Uh, it's one of the stronger green Irish tweed scents that I've experienced, honestly. All right, let's cut that back a little bit and let's see how we do with our SE Pro. And I'm gonna start with it on one and then we'll adjust it periodically to see how it feels and let's see how the first few strokes are. Nice and smooth. On one, very mild as you would expect. Don't need to shave all the way up there today. Very nice. There is some, you know, decent heft to this razor, just like the original supply razor. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and, and uh, move it on two. And by the way, it's not just, um, I think there are five or six adjustment settings on here. Um, there are settings in between the settings too. So there's many little lines. So you don't have to go all the way to two from one, for example, you could go like one and a half or even below that. It does feel nice and smooth. I'm gonna adjust it up just a little bit more to three and see how we do with that. Yeah, I think it's on three. No, I, I went the wrong way with it. Um, you have to remember which way to go with the wheel. Now we're on three, I think, yeah. The numbers are kind of hard to see. I almost wish those numbers were painted or something because if you don't have great light on them, it's kind of hard to see. All right, now we're on three and I can definitely feel a little more blade. I'll end up going all the way up because I do like to feel some blade, but so far, not bad. And these uh, Black Label injector blades from Supply are pretty good. I always forget to plug the sink there so you don't have to hear the sink draining. Very nice so far. Um, this grip sleeve, I don't know if it's entirely necessary. I didn't have grip issues on the old Supply Razor, but I put it on here just to, you know, see how it would feel. Nice and smooth so far. Feels very good indeed. Right, let's just go ahead and go up. Let's see. Hold on. Sorry for, bear with me, folks. I'm going to, I'm going to take this one all the way up. And again, it's kind of hard to see because it's dark. The numbers are dark. I'm, I put it all the way up on six. I don't know if you can see that. Again, if, if those were painted, maybe a, something bright red, it would be more noticeable. And I believe I'm on six now, and that is more to my liking. I tend to like razors on the efficient side, so that feels a little better for me. Still not, still not menacing, in my opinion, but I do prefer efficient razors. But definitely I can feel more whiskers being cut on the high end. So that feels better for me, but that's sort of a natural thing since I prefer more aggression anyway. I just want to make sure I'm actually on six. Yeah, and I am. Okay, so we'll stay there for the rest of the shave. If you need it mild, it'll certainly provide that. And we'll uh, keep going with six and see if we can figure out where that lands, whether it's like medium or efficient or what have you. And we'll find out as the shave goes on. Oh man, this soap smells fantastic. If you're a fan of green Irish tweed, this is one maybe to try. And if you've never tried a green Irish tweed, this would be an amazing one to try. It's a really brilliant scent in my opinion. Uh, the quality on this soap, I can tell you right now before finishing the shave, it's five out of five. It is fantastic. Whether you're getting the Kodiak, which is their premium base, or Aeon, which is the regular base, um, it's really good stuff. And the Aeon does not leave me wanting for anything. And so it's great. Uh, it's a great value. And for me, I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't really prefer Kodiak over Aeon. A lot of people do. But to me, it doesn't really do anything for me that this one doesn't do already. And so that is very nice. Uh, there are people that disagree with me on that. But uh, this soap is a great soap in its own right, the Aeon soap. If you love the, the uh, Kodiak, that is entirely okay. But for me, this one does everything I need it to do and then some probably. So let's keep going here with the shave and see how we fare with our Supply SE Pro. Very nice. Now that it's on six, it's where I like it. Very nice indeed. I'm definitely feeling more efficiency on six than one. Of course, if you didn't, 
That would mean they made a terrible mistake with the razor. You know, the adjustment should be noticeable. So maybe I'll take it back down halfway for the final pass just to see how that feels. But six feels great for me. One was quite mild as you would expect. And so that's exactly kind of what you would expect for a, an adjustable razor. Very nice so far, no, no problems. I'm not hearing that rattling of the adjustment mechanism inside as I'm shaving. That's a good thing because if I were hearing that clicking, it would annoy me if I were hearing it during the shave. But unless you're shaving like a wild man, you shouldn't hear that clicking. Or at least I'm not as I'm shaving. I'm just hearing, for me, I'm hearing the whiskers being cut a little bit, but no uh, clicking, which is good. Because any sort of clicking is sort of a distraction. Um, you're used to hearing what you hear during the shave, which is me. I'm used to hearing myself talk because I'm doing videos every day. And I'm used to hearing the feedback of the cutting because it's, you know, right next to my ear. But I'm not used to hearing any mechanical clicking. And if I were, that would be annoying. And so I would say that would be a... Uh, that would be in a very annoying thing if I were, but fortunately I'm not. It's feeling nice. Now I heard a little bit of that clicking that <clears throat> when I was going this way. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah. So it was a little bit noticeable, but it's, you know, it wasn't so much so that I noticed it in the other areas of the shave. So it must not be too bad. It's probably something you would get used to. Let's go ahead and lather for our cross pass here. And maybe we'll turn it down to three and see how that feels just to get some comparison. I'm all over the place today. And it started with not being able to pronounce the soap. <laughs> and then we're using a brand new razor. And so, but it's fun, you know, we don't take it too seriously. Don't get me wrong. I love uh, shaving, traditional shaving, but you know, we try to have fun with it and not be too serious all the time. Uh, and so when you can't say something, you just can't say it. I would have to practice to say that. And like I said, I could sprain my tongue. That it, it takes a lot of work to say that. I know a lot of you will uh, probably spell it phonetically down below for me, but I'm telling you what, when I looked it up, I was like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Bill at Murphy and McNeil. Oh. Bill, we need a regular, a regular uh, name for a soap. You know, like Green Man or something. You know, that's generic, but something easy to pronounce. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can turn this down. The only thing I would say about this razor that's not um, my favorite is that the numbers, when you, especially when you get water on them, they're not easy to read. Okay, so now I'm on three, but I don't know if you can see that. But because it's dark, and once you get water on it also, it's kind of hard to see, so... Here we go on three, which is right in the middle. There are six settings. I just looked. So three is right in the middle. Very nice, very smooth. I think this has definitely a range of uh, adjustment that hits. To me, the six hits probably close to the medium range at the top. So this doesn't go from mild to super aggressive. This goes from mild to medium for, for me. You might think it's quite efficient on six. For me, it felt like sort of medium-ish. So if you favor super aggressive razors, this one even at the top is not gonna be super aggressive, but you can notice a difference and that's, that's good because if you didn't see, I heard a little bit of clicking there. Every now and then I hear that clicking and that's not ideal, but I believe the razor in terms of its function, shaving, it is fantastic. Feels good in the hand. I kind of like that rubber grip too. Even though I didn't have a problem with the razor slipping on the regular supply, the razor, um, I think this grip probably, you know, helps some. Um, the only thing I would say is if a manufacturer thinks um, a razor benefits from a grip like that, they should either build it into the razor or provide it. Because this I think was I don't know, five or six dollars extra. And I just got it because I'm like, well, let's try it. You know, I just want to try the options. Um, but if you think your razor needs that, you should probably just provide it with the razor. Um, when you sell the razor, and then people can choose whether or not to put it on. 
but I'm not a big fan of the, you know, the five or six dollar add-on um, personally. Because again, if you've identified that there's a need to make this sleeve, then for some people you think it's necessary and therefore it should be included in the price of the razor. That's just my opinion. Especially when you're doing a Kickstarter to fund it. Um, again, my opinion. But I will say, the razor is a good smooth shaver. Smooth would be the way I would characterize it. Overall, it's a very good smooth razor. It's got some decent heft to it. It's not like the old, you know, type Type G, Schick Type G, Schick, Schick Type E, and so forth. It's much heavier than that. I don't know off the top of my head the, the weight, but it's much heavier. And again, this one I don't think is retailing yet. This was uh, just went out to the Kickstarter backers. I don't know when they'll put this one on sale, um, or at least at the time when I checked the website, I didn't see the Pro version available. And this one is called the Single Edge Pro. It's adjustable. Now let's finish this out strong. I have to say, it was a very nice shaver. Uh, no problems at all. Really nice and smooth. All right, so that was excellent. Let me rinse, and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back, and off camera did a rinse to get rid of the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum. After applying the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. I had an excellent shave today with Murphy and McNeil, whatever that says, because I can't say it. Let's run down the scores for you. Cost, four out of five. Scent quality, five out of five. Scent strength, 4.5 out of five. Ease of use, five out of five. Overall quality, five out of five. And that brings us to a total score of 23.5 out of 25. Very nice indeed. I really enjoyed this uh, soap today. If you haven't tried uh, a green Irish tweed type scent, this is a really, really good one. And by the way, the, the base on this or the soap consistency, it was quite firm. So the value on this is probably going to be quite good indeed. We used today for the first time the Supply SE Pro Razor. Very, very nice shaver. On one, it's quite mild. And on six, I think it's in that medium sort of range. So it's not uber aggressive on six, but it definitely has more efficiency. I really enjoyed using it today. One of the drawbacks is maybe that, that clicking. Every now and then you hear it, it might annoy you a little bit, but otherwise I think it's a nice uh, shaver and I enjoyed using it. Again, I got this uh, when I bet the Kickstarter, $139. I'm not sure what this razor will sell for at retail, but I do like the adjustment on it. I think it's pretty nice. Uh, things that I would change about it, that adjustment wheel, I would probably make those numbers easier to see because it's hard to see, especially when you have water on it. And also, if you think you need a grip sleeve, I would include that with the price of the razor. But otherwise, very nice. The blades are great. Very, very nice smooth shaver and I enjoyed using it today. We used our Razor Rock 400 brush, which you see right here. It's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we're gonna finish things off today with the Wet the Face Quiet Man uh, Splash with the floaties in there. Can you see the, well, usually when I shake, <laughs> I believe that's aloe if I'm not mistaken. But I like to show it. It's kind of a weird sort of thing that's unique to uh, Wet the Face splashes. And this is a Green Irish Tweed scent and we're gonna be smelling great today. And I hope wherever you are, you have a fantastic day and you have fantastic shapes. Let me know below, did you get one of the new supply razors? And if so, how do you like it? Woo, the menthol is making my eyes water. Thank you so much for joining me, folks. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.